Thank you for having joined us here this morning to celebrate together the 10th anniversary of the coming into force of the Lisbon Treaty and the legally binding Charter of Fundamental Rights. On the 1st of December last, during a ceremony in the uh, House of European History in uh, the presence of uh, Sir Michel, uh, Mrs. van der Leyen and Christine Lagarde, we commemorated this anniversary and celebrated the opening of the new institutional cycle under this parliament. Every time we come to Strasbourg, we cross from Germany and we cross a border, but we never realized that. From 1870, for generations of Europeans, that was a bloody border. It's normal for us to cross it in peace. But that is something which has been achieved. It was a huge conquest, a huge achievement. And we should never take it for granted, particularly today when we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Battle of the Ardennes, which, uh, which saw the death of tens of thousands of young Europeans the future generations. It's important to remember that the European project is the only one, the only one which has allowed us to build an area of peace, of freedom and of democracy. And it is these values that we have to stand up for and depend every day as we work for the European Union and make it more efficient and stronger. The coming into force, ten into force 10 years ago of the Lisbon Treaty was a huge advance for the European Union, for our citizens, for our countries, particularly for the Parliament and for European democracy, because it consolidated the democratic nature of our Union, its efficiency and its transparency, and it granted an important role to the citizens as well. They now have a stronger voice thanks to the Lisbon Treaty. For 10 years now, the Parliament has been sharing with the Council the approval of the annual budget and is playing an important role within European policies. But we shouldn't forget that behind those figures, the budget lines and the financial framework, always there are people. And it's to them that Europe has to manage to give its answers. Thanks to the Lisbon treaty which respects equality, democracy, human rights, solidarity and the rule of law, these have become pillars on which the European Union is built. These are 10 years which have been legally binding for all member states and all institutions. Unfortunately, discrimination continues. It continues to affect our countries as well. Time and time again, we are reminded by the news that violence against women, racism, different forms of intolerance are still humiliating so many of our European citizens. And on this anniversary, uh, I would like to renew once again our commitment to a solidarity-based and freer Europe. We have to continue to think of our future together. We have to walk hand in hand. Through their major turnout at the last elections, our citizens gave us a clear message. They want to contribute more intensely to the European project. And I'm convinced that the Conference for the Future of Europe, which we intend to establish over the next few months, will constitute an opportunity not to be missed. It will be an opportunity to listen to our citizens, to understand their demands, their expectations, but also their hopes, and to ensure that our democracy works better. It will be our duty to translate into practice their requests and uh, conclude the task to achieve a union which can more effectively face up to the global challenges out there. Obviously, this all has to be reflected in uh, parliamentary acts and in policy, and I believe that our generation is up to that challenge. Thank you.
Eccoci.